yes welcome guys uh this is another video it said if you've never owned a nokia small phone or feature phone then you have never owned the mobile phone this is where all our stories begin from but this is not the real one we began with this is just a reincarnation of the button phone but yeah anyone who has lived long enough knows this was a place we once were anyway this phone comes here because uh, for it to charge i have to uh, more or less twist the charger in the port we go it around and hopefully find a spot at which the phone is able to charge i think let me see if i can demonstrate that to you the port is right there and uh, uh we've plugged in uh, normally i should expect now today <laughs> it has behaved on the first attempt which is a little odd uh, okay let me plug it again uh, it has also behaved uh, but let that not lie to you uh, earlier on i had to wiggle wiggle around for me to be able to get it to charge so let's get right inside and then do our magic this is a battery from a small button phone that is not made by nokia but they serve the same purposes in case you're wondering this is the ta1174 and uh, let's go into it and as such we need to take it apart open it i mean i'm only hoping that this is the right screwdriver tip and turns out it's not now i have to find the other one it's rarely used so it's rarely present all right today i have been successful in finding it quickly and <laughs> let's open that that and i think only four screws are here to be dealt with so i'm going to have to examine this port and check its integrity of reuse ability and see if i will have to simply solder its uh, conducting lines and uh, okay where's the blade where's the blade uh, surgical blade okay so okay so we get in between there and uh, pry this uh, open okay okay and that comes off now we need to pick this out be getting in between there in there and I think let's uh, lift that and that I think soon I have to apply this now uh, this is surface mount so I'm going to look at that examine that and uh, yeah okay so let me do deal with this add some flux there and uh where are we where are we i'm supposed to be having some sort of toothbrush here Said I thought I'd pause it. All right. Anyway, um, I am looking for what I'm looking for, but I can't see it. So let's proceed. Uh, I have to clean off the residue solder from the tip of the soldering gun, and then uh, pick a veneer of solder right there. All right. Huh. The tip doesn't want to pick anything. Okay. Anyway, let's get there. Uh, let me try to zoom in. Then focus. 
some point this makes me miss my Huawei phone. It really used to do a good job when it comes to zooming in well to do this to and fro. Alright, to and fro, to and fro, to and fro, to and fro. Hope you guys are able to see what's happening there. Alright. Now I noticed okay. So that done. The thing is I need to get isopropyl alcohol and then see what happens. Alright, uh, zoom out. Yeah, okay, zoom out. I was refusing to zoom out. Now, I should propel alcohol for me to clean the excessive flux. Excessive flux. This is always disturbing. Like you never see what you want when you want it. And then when you don't want it, you keep stumbling on it. Very good. So I've got in some isopropyl alcohol and that's to help me clean off the residual solder from around the solder points. So these are one of those repairs that upon review you realize that the uh, oh crap I was off camera again. Okay. So you may have seen me flip this away. You just didn't want this as you propel alcohol going into the membrane of the screen, of, of the speaker, because it tends to dissolve anything organic, including the rubber glue. So I'm just wiping the excess uh, flux. And also, you may have noticed that when we examined this, this uh, pot, turned out to be actually with sound structure integrity saved from anchorage and uh, that's what we're going to deal with remove any debris so it is said if it broke don't what yeah and i respect the resilience of these pots so what I've dealt with it here is to re-establish the conductivity lines such that uh, it is intact and with instant communication. Immediately you plug in the USB charger, you should be able to just work immediately. Okay. All right, the uh, super pile alcohol. Oh, God, the key. I say that because it should never seep into the back layers, reflective layers of the display. Yes, it is volatile, but with the tendency of leaving streaks. No problem. All right, I think uh, uh, I don't think you'll be able to see the inside anyway. Let's just put it back together and run a test. And uh, yep, our job here will be. Mm -hmm. Snap that right in there perfectly well, and then I bring our charging port, the USB charging USB. 
into play bring a battery where well, there like that then plug in a charger right there and uh, it snaps in well okay okay and okay let me first change my pots right there and power and then confirm that my battery is making physical contact with the charge terminals okay that's nice and interesting at the same time mm. interesting let me just confirm one thing that i've cleaned the terminals of my battery okay and just uh, do that to make sure they are making contact with the phone itself yeah plug that there and then huh this is odd 